Yamcha, a renowned Z fighter, was feeling frustrated and insecure as he combed the bustling market for a sensible meal. He was convinced that he had been neglecting his health and fitness regimen, given that he hadn't been summoned to assist in any crucial battles in ages. But that wasn't all that was gnawing at him. His recent breakup had also left him feeling unworthy and dejected. Why does no one want me? He pondered with a sigh. <sighs> Just as he was sinking deeper into thoughts of doom and gloom, he suddenly caught a glimpse and was awestruck. It was Princess Peach. The iconic princess of the Mushroom Kingdom sauntering down the aisles with a grace that Yamcha had never seen before. She was gliding. Or was she floating? Yamcha found himself wondering. He couldn't believe his luck when he saw her, and a surge of hope washed over him, gathering all his confidence. Yamcha made his way over to Peach, hoping to strike up a conversation. Hey, babe. I'm a Z fighter. We should get to know each other, he said somewhat awkwardly. Princess Peach, however, was receptive and responded with a smile. Maybe we should. The two started talking, and Yamcha felt a sense of renewal wash over him. He was basking in Peach's charming company, feeling like he had finally found his match but their conversation was suddenly cut short when Peach abruptly stopped mid-sentence. Oh my, I have to go, she said, looking flustered. Yamcha was confused and asked what was wrong. It's my ex. He's crazy, jealous and possessive, Peach explained, her voice trembling with fear. Yamcha wanted to reassure her, telling her, that as a martial arts master, he could protect her from any danger. But Peach looked terrified and whispered, I believe you, but he's been up all night eating mushrooms and fire flowers. He's dangerous. I hope he didn't see us together. Just as Yum Chum nodded in understanding, he felt an excruciating pain at the back of his head, as if something had hit him with a great force. As he turned around, he saw a green turtle shell shattering into pieces. He moaned in pain as he realized he had been attacked. He looked back to Peach, but she was gone, swallowed by the milling crowd. As Yamcha struggled to regain his bearings, he realized that Princess Peach had vanished into the throngs of the market. But what he did see was her ex-boyfriend striding towards him with a menacing look. He was wearing blue overalls a goofy little hat, and a mustache that Yamcha found oddly unnerving. It's me, Mario! Huh, ex! He exclaimed with a smirk that made Yamcha's blood run cold. Yamcha had not been looking for trouble. He was never one to seek out violent confrontations. But he knew instinctively that trouble had found him, and there was no avoiding the inevitable. He squared his shoulders and prepared for what was to come. As Yamcha tried to collect his bearings, his mind raised with thoughts of his opponent. He had gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the strongest fighters in the galaxy, yet this short, stout plumber seemed to instill a sense of unease in him. From the way Mario's high-pitched voice pierced through the air, to his strangely disproportionate build, everything about him felt off but it was his glare that sent chills down Yamcha's spine. Those cold, lifeless eyes seemed to peer into his very soul, and it was clear that this was not going to be your everyday fight. Yamcha took a deep breath and mentally prepared himself for the battle ahead. It was time to face his fears and take on the mighty Mario, the most powerful being in the entire Mushroom Kingdom. As the two squared up, Mario lifted his fist in the air and declared, Let's -a go! And with that, the epic battle between Yamcha and Mario began. As Mario leaped towards Yamcha, his feet barely grazing the ground, he delivered a mighty uppercut that sent oversized coins flying from the Z fighter's body. 
The force of the blow was so strong that it almost seemed to create a small gust of wind. Jumcha's eyes widened in shock as he stumbled backwards, momentarily stunned by the sheer strength and speed of the plumber. Finally, managing to regain his footing, Yamcha launched himself at Mario, his fist free in an aura of power. He aimed several devastating blows at Mario's head and chest, each one landing with a resounding thud. But just as Yamcha was starting to feel confident, Mario produced a banana peel from his pocket and tossed it on his, under his foot, causing Yamcha to slip and lose his balance. As he fell to the ground, Yamcha knew he was vulnerable. Mario wasted no time in taking advantage of the situation, leaping onto the Z Fighter's chest and unleashing a flurry of punches that were so fast and brutal the crowds watching couldn't help but shield their eyes. One young child even cried out for someone to come to the aid of what she thought was a helpless woman. But it was poor Yamcha who was struggling to fend off the relentless assault. Gritting his teeth in determination, Yamcha summoned all his willpower and managed to roll Mario off of him. Quickly springing to his feet, he shot a powerful key beam at the plumber that slammed him through a nearby brick wall. Yamcha watched the hole he had created for any signs of movement, relief when none came. Turning to make his escape, he suddenly heard a shout from behind him. It's a not over yet! Turning back, he saw Mario now dressed in vibrant red overalls and wielding two flickering fireballs hovering over his hands. Yamcha's face was a picture of confusion as he saw Mario relentlessly throw fireballs at him without any regard for the innocent bystanders in the bustling market. Fear began to creep up on him, but he quickly gathered himself and assumed a fighting stance. What's wrong with this guy? He thought to himself. Mario's fireballs were getting harder and harder to evade. Yamcha realized that he not only had to stop this crazed plumber, but also protect the people who were caught in the crossfire. Suddenly, Yamcha remembered Krillin's solar flare technique, which could blind his opponent temporarily. This might work, he said as he launched the attack. Mario was now blinded by this light, and Yamcha seized the opportunity to warn the bystanders. Quick, get out of here! This man is insane, he shouted. The people started to disperse, but Peach, Mario's love interest, stayed behind and cheered for Yamcha. Kick his butt, Yamcha, she yelled. Yamcha felt a surge of motivation and began to dodge Mario's fireballs with ease. He landed a vicious kick to Mario's head and followed by a punch that made him start to blink and then suddenly he was back in his original red and blue outfit. It was unsettling but Yamcha knew he had to finish this fight. With a final punch, Mario started to blink in and out again and this time he shrunk down to about half his original size. Yamcha sensed that he was getting desperate and saw him reach into his pocket and took out a red and white mushroom. Don't let him eat that, yelled Peach. Yamcha quickly sent a small key blast that disintegrated the mushroom, followed by a kick to Mario's head that knocked him unconscious. As Yamcha stood there catching his breath, another plumber wearing green and blue rushed out. He didn't pay any attention to Yamcha and ran straight to Mario. Come on, brother. You're not well. You're not supposed to go out by yourself, he said. Before Yamcha could even react, a large green pipe popped out of the ground and the two plumbers dispersed down it. Yamcha stood there bewildered, wondering what he had just witnessed. The battle was finally over and Yamcha emerged victorious, feeling both elated and exhausted. As he caught his breath and surveyed the aftermath, he saw Princess Peach running towards him. She threw her arms around him in a tight embrace. Oh, Yamcha, you're my hero, she exclaimed. Yamcha blushed, but couldn't help but feel a rush of pride at her compliment. Just doing what I had to do, he replied, feeling grateful for the acknowledgement. As they made their way out of the market, Yamcha felt a sense of excitement for what the future might hold. He turned to Peach. Who knows? 
what are their adventures we might have. Peach gave him a warm smile and took his arm. I can't wait to find out, she said, her eyes twinkling with excitement. Yamcha felt a warm feeling inside, realizing that he had not just gained a new ally, but potentially a new companion on his future adventures. He looked up to the sky and took a deep breath, ready for whatever awaited him.